New York, Wikipedia article audio. New York is a state in the northeastern United States. New York was one of the original 13 colonies that formed the United States. With an estimated 19.85 million residents in 2017, it is the fourth most populous state in the United States. To differentiate from its city with the same name, it is sometimes called New York State. History Native American History 16th century 17th century 18th century, the American Revolution, and statehood. 19th century Immigration September 11, 2001 Attacks Hurricane Sandy, 2012 Geography Water Borders Drainage Climate Ecology Regions State Parks National Parks, Monuments and Historic Landmarks Administrative Divisions Demographics Population Most Populous Counties Major Cities Metropolitan Areas Race and Ethnicity Languages the state's most populous city, New York City makes up over 40% of the state's population. Two-thirds of the state's population lives in the New York metropolitan area, and nearly 40% lives on Long Island. The state and city were both named for the 17th century Duke of York, the future King James II of England. With an estimated population of 8.55 million in 2015, New York City is the most populous city in the United States and the premier gateway for legal immigration to the United States. The New York metropolitan area is one of the most populous in the world. New York City is a global city home to the United Nations headquarters and has been described as the cultural, financial and media capital of the world, as well as the world's most economically powerful city. The next four most populous cities in the state are Buffalo, Rochester, Yonkers and Syracuse, while the state capital is Albany. Religion LGBTQ New York has a diverse geography. The state is bordered by New Jersey and Pennsylvania to the south and Connecticut, Massachusetts and Vermont to the east. The state has a maritime border with Rhode Island, east of Long Island, as well as an international border with the Canadian provinces of Quebec to the north and Ontario to the northwest. The southern part of the state is in the Atlantic Coastal Plain and consists of Long Island and several smaller associated islands, as well as New York City and the lower Hudson River Valley. The large upstate New York region consists of several ranges of the wider Appalachian Mountains, and the Adirondack Mountains in the northeastern lobe of the state. These more mountainous regions are bisected by two major river valleys the north-south Hudson River Valley and the east-west Mohawk River Valley. Western New York is considered part of the Great Lakes region and borders Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, and Niagara Falls. The central part of the state is dominated by the Finger Lakes, a popular vacation and tourist destination. Economy Wall Street New York had been inhabited by tribes of Algonquian and Iroquoian-speaking Native Americans for several hundred years by the time the earliest Europeans came to New York. French colonists and Jesuit missionaries arrived southward from Montreal for trade and proselytizing. In 1609, 
the region was visited by Henry Hudson sailing for the Dutch East India Company. The Dutch built Fort Nassau in 1614 at the confluence of the Hudson and Mohawk Rivers, where the present-day capital of Albany later developed. The Dutch soon also settled New Amsterdam and parts of the Hudson Valley, establishing the multicultural colony of New Netherland, a centre of trade and immigration. England seized the colony from the Dutch in 1664. During the American Revolutionary War, a group of colonists of the province of New York attempted to take control of the British colony and eventually succeeded in establishing independence. Many landmarks in New York are well known, including four of the world's ten most visited tourist attractions in 2013. Times Square, Central Park, Niagara Falls, and Grand Central Terminal. New York is home to the Statue of Liberty, a symbol of the United States and its ideals of freedom, democracy, and opportunity. In the 21st century, New York has emerged as a global node of creativity and entrepreneurship, social tolerance, and environmental sustainability. New York's higher education network comprises approximately 200 colleges and universities, including Columbia University, Cornell University, New York University, and Rockefeller University, which have been ranked among the top 35 in the world. The tribes in what is now New York were predominantly Iroquois and Algonquin. Long Island was divided roughly in half between the Wampanoag and Lenape. The Lenape also controlled most of the region surrounding New York Harbor. North of the Lenape was a third Algonquin nation, the Mohicans. Starting north of them, from east to west, were three Iroquoian nations, the Mohawk, the original Iroquois and the Petun. South of them, divided roughly along Appalachia, were the Susquehannock and the Erie. Many of the Wampanoag and Mohican peoples were caught up in King Philip's War, a joint effort of many New England tribes to push Europeans off their land. After the death of their leader, Chief Philip Matakomet, most of those peoples fled inland, splitting into the Abenaki and the Shattacoke. Many of the Mohicans remained in the region until the 1800s, however, a small group known as the Wabano migrated southwest into West Virginia at an earlier time. They may have merged with the Shawnee. The Mohawk and Susquehannock were the most militaristic. Trying to corner trade with the Europeans, they targeted other tribes. The Mohawk were also known for refusing white settlement on their land and banishing any of their people who converted to Christianity. They posed a major threat to the Abenaki and Mohicans, while the Susquehannock briefly conquered the Lenape in the 1600s. The most devastating event of the century, however, was the Beaver Wars. From approximately 1640-1680, Iroquoian peoples waged campaigns which extended from modern-day Michigan to Virginia against Algonquin and Siouan tribes, as well as each other. The aim was to control more land for animal trapping, a career most natives had turned to in hopes of trading with whites first. Not only did this completely change the ethnography of the region, most large game was hunted out before whites ever fully explored the land. Still, afterward, the Iroquois Confederacy offered shelter to refugees of the Muscoutin, Erie, Conantan, Tutelo, Saponi, and Tuscarora nations. In the 1700s, they would also merge with the Mohawk during the French-Indian War and take in the remaining Susquehannock of Pennsylvania after they were decimated in war. Most of these other groups blended in until they ceased to exist. Then, after the Revolution, a large group of them split off and returned to Ohio, becoming known as the Mingo Seneca. 
The current six tribes of the Iroquois Confederacy are the Seneca, Cayuga, Onondaga, Oneida, Tuscarora, and Mohawk. As the Iroquois sided with the British during the Revolution, they soon after migrated to Canada. Meanwhile, the Lenape formed a close relationship with William Penn. However, upon Penn's death, his sons managed to take over much of their lands and banish them to Ohio. When the U.S. drafted the Indian Removal Act, the Lenape were further moved to Missouri, whereas their cousins, the Mohicans, were sent to Wisconsin. Also, in 1778, the United States relocated the Nanticoke from the Delmarva Peninsula to the former Iroquois lands south of Lake Ontario, though they did not stay long. Mostly, they chose to migrate into Canada and merge with the Iroquois, although some moved west and merged with the Lenape. In 1524, Giovanni de Verrazzano, an Italian explorer in the service of the French crown, explored the Atlantic coast of North America between the Carolinas and Newfoundland, including New York Harbor and Narragansett Bay. On April 17, 1524, Verrazzano entered New York Bay, by way of the strait now called the Narrows into the northern bay which he named Santa Margarita, in honor of the King of France's sister. Verrazzano described it as a vast coastline with a deep delta in which every kind of ship could pass and he adds, that it extends inland for a league and opens up to form a beautiful lake. This vast sheet of water swarmed with native boats. He landed on the tip of Manhattan and possibly on the furthest point of Long Island. Verrazzano's stay was interrupted by a storm which pushed him north towards Martha's Vineyard. In 1540, French traders from New France built a chateau on Castle Island, within present-day Albany, it was abandoned the following year due to flooding. In 1614, the Dutch, under the command of Hendrik Korstiansen, rebuilt the French Chateau, which they called Fort Nassau. Fort Nassau was the first Dutch settlement in North America, and was located along the Hudson River, also within present-day Albany. The small fort served as a trading post and warehouse. Located on the Hudson River flood plain, the rudimentary fort was washed away by flooding in 1617 and abandoned for good after Fort Orange was built nearby in 1623. Henry Hudson's 1609 voyage marked the beginning of European involvement with the area. Sailing for the Dutch East India Company and looking for a passage to Asia, he entered the upper New York Bay on September 11th of that year. Word of his findings encouraged Dutch merchants to explore the coast in search for profitable fur trading with local Native American tribes. During the 17th century, Dutch trading posts established for the trade of pelts from the Lenape, Iroquois and other tribes were founded in the colony of New Netherland. The first of these trading posts were Fort Nassau, Fort Orange, developing into settlement Beverwijk, and into what became Albany, Fort Amsterdam, and Esopus. The success of the patroonship of Rensselaerswyck, which surrounded Albany and lasted until the mid-19th century, was also a key factor in the early success of the colony. The English captured the colony during the Second Anglo-Dutch War and governed it as the province of New York. The city of New York was recaptured by the Dutch in 1673 during the Third Anglo-Dutch War and renamed New Orange. It was returned to the English under the terms of the Treaty of Westminster a year later. The Sons of Liberty were organized in New York City during the 1760s, 
largely in response to the Oppressive Stamp Act passed by the British Parliament in 1765. The Stamp Act Congress met in the city on October 19 of that year, composed of representatives from across the 13 colonies who set the stage for the Continental Congress to follow. The Stamp Act Congress resulted in the Declaration of Rights and Grievances, which was the first written expression by representatives of the Americans of many of the rights and complaints later expressed in the United States Declaration of Independence. This included the right to representative government. At the same time, given strong commercial, personal and sentimental links to Britain, many New York residents were loyalists. The capture of Fort Ticonderoga provided the cannon and gunpowder necessary to force a British withdrawal from the Siege of Boston in 1775. New York was the only colony not to vote for independence, as the delegates were not authorized to do so. New York then endorsed the Declaration of Independence on July 9, 1776. The New York State Constitution was framed by a convention which assembled at White Plains on July 10, 1776, and after repeated adjournments and changes of location, terminated its labors at Kingston on Sunday evening, April 20, 1777, when the new constitution drafted by John Jay was adopted with but one dissenting vote. It was not submitted to the people for ratification. On July 30, 1777, George Clinton was inaugurated as the first governor of New York at Kingston. About one-third of the battles of the American Revolutionary War took place in New York, the first major battle after U.S. independence was declared and the largest battle of the entire war was fought in New York at the Battle of Long Island in August 1776. After their victory, the British occupied New York City, making it their military and political base of operations in North America for the duration of the conflict and consequently the focus of General George Washington's intelligence network. On the notorious British prison ships of Wallabout Bay, more American combatants died of intentional neglect than were killed in combat in every battle of the war combined. Both sides of combatants lost more soldiers to disease than to outright wounds. The first of two major British armies were captured by the Continental Army at the Battle of Saratoga in 1777, a success that influenced France to ally with the revolutionaries. The state constitution was enacted in 1777. New York became the 11th state to ratify the United States Constitution, on July 26, 1788. In an attempt to retain their sovereignty and remain an independent nation positioned between the new United States and British North America, four of the Iroquois nations fought on the side of the British, only the Oneida and their dependents, the Tuscarora, allied themselves with the Americans. In retaliation for attacks on the frontier led by Joseph Brandt and Loyalist Mohawk forces, the Sullivan Expedition of 1779 destroyed nearly 50 Iroquois villages adjacent croplands and winter stores, forcing many refugees to British-held Niagara. As allies of the British, the Iroquois were forced out of New York, although they had not been part of treaty negotiations. They resettled in Canada after the war and were given land grants by the Crown. In the treaty settlement, the British ceded most Indian lands to the new United States. Because New York made treaty with the Iroquois without getting congressional approval, some of the land purchases have been subject to land claim suits since the late 20th century by the federally recognized tribes. New York put up more than 5 million acres of former Iroquois territory for sale in the years after the Revolutionary War, 
leading to rapid development in upstate New York. As per the Treaty of Paris, the last vestige of British authority in the former 13 colonies their troops in New York City departed in 1783, which was long afterward celebrated as Evacuation Day. New York City was the national capital under the Articles of Confederation and Perpetual Union, the first government. That organization was found to be insufficient and prominent New Yorker Alexander Hamilton advocated a new government that would include an executive, national courts, and the power to tax. Hamilton led the Annapolis Convention that called for the Philadelphia Convention, which drafted the United States Constitution, in which he also took part. The new government was to be a strong federal national government to replace the relatively weaker confederation of individual states. Following heated debate, which included the publication of the now quintessential constitutional interpretation the Federalist Papers as a series of installments in New York City newspapers, New York was the 11th state to ratify the United States Constitution, on July 26. 1788. New York remained the national capital under the new constitution until 1790, and was the site of the inauguration of President George Washington, the drafting of the United States Bill of Rights, and the first session of the United States Supreme Court. Hamilton's revival of the heavily indebted United States economy after the war and the creation of a national bank significantly contributed to New York City becoming the financial center of the new nation. Both the Dutch and the British imported African slaves as laborers to the city and colony. New York had the second highest population of slaves after Charleston, South Carolina. Slavery was extensive in New York City and some agricultural areas. The state passed a law for the gradual abolition of slavery soon after the Revolutionary War, but the last slave in New York was not freed until 1827. Transportation in western New York was by expensive wagons on muddy roads before canals opened up the rich farmlands to long-distance traffic. Governor DeWitt Clinton promoted the Erie Canal that connected New York City to the Great Lakes, by the Hudson River, the New Canal, and the rivers and lakes. Work commenced in 1817, and the Erie Canal opened in 1825. Packet boats pulled by horses on towpaths traveled slowly over the canal carrying passengers and freight. Farm products came in from the Midwest, and finished manufactured moved west. It was an engineering marvel which opened up vast areas of New York to commerce and settlement. It enabled Great Lakes port cities such as Buffalo and Rochester to grow and prosper. It also connected the burgeoning agricultural production of the Midwest and shipping on the Great Lakes, with the port of New York City. Improving transportation, it enabled additional population migration to territories west of New York. After 1850, railroads largely replaced the canal. New York City was a major ocean port and had extensive traffic importing cotton from the south and exporting manufacturing goods. Nearly half of the state's exports were related to cotton. Southern cotton factors, planters, and bankers visited so often that they had favorite hotels. At the same time, activism for abolitionism was strong upstate, where some communities provided stops on the Underground Railroad. Upstate, and New York City, gave strong support for the American Civil War in terms of finances, volunteer soldiers, and supplies. The state provided more than 370,000 soldiers to the Union armies. Over 53,000 New Yorkers died in service, roughly one of every seven who served. However, 
Irish draft riots in 1862 were a significant embarrassment. Since the early 19th century, New York City has been the largest port of entry for legal immigration into the United States. In the United States, the federal government did not assume direct jurisdiction for immigration until 1890. Prior to this time, the matter was delegated to the individual states, then via contract between the states and the federal government. Most immigrants to New York would disembark at the bustling docks along the Hudson and East Rivers, in the eventual Lower Manhattan. On May 4, 1847, the New York State Legislature created the Board of Commissioners of Immigration to regulate immigration. The first permanent immigration depot in New York was established in 1855 at Castle Garden a converted war of 1812 era fort located within what is now Battery Park, at the tip of Lower Manhattan. The first immigrants to arrive at the new depot were aboard three ships that had just been released from quarantine. Castle Garden served as New York's immigrant depot until it closed on April 18. 1890, when the federal government assumed control over immigration. During that period, more than 8 million immigrants passed through its doors. When the federal government assumed control, it established the Bureau of Immigration, which chose the three-acre Ellis Island in Upper New York Harbor for an entry depot. Already federally controlled, the island had served as an ammunition depot. It was chosen due its relative isolation with proximity to New York City and the rail lines of Jersey City, New Jersey, via a short ferry ride. While the island was being developed and expanded via land reclamation, the federal government operated a temporary depot at the barge office at the Battery. Ellis Island opened on January 1st. 1892, and operated as a central immigration center until the National Origins Act was passed in 1924, reducing immigration. After that date, the only immigrants to pass through were displaced persons or war refugees. The island ceased all immigration processing on November 12, 1954, when the last person detained on the island, Norwegian seaman Arne Petersen, was released. He had overstayed his shore leave and left on the 10.15 a.m. Manhattan-bound ferry to return to his ship. More than 12 million immigrants passed through Ellis Island between 1892 and 1954. More than 100 million Americans across the United States can trace their ancestry to these immigrants. Ellis Island was the subject of a contentious and long-running border and jurisdictional dispute between New York State and the state of New Jersey, as both claimed it. The issue was settled in 1998 by the U.S. Supreme Court which ruled that the original 3.3-acre island was New York State territory and that the balance of the 27.5 acres added after 1,834 by landfill was in New Jersey. The island was added to the National Park Service system in May 1965 by President Lyndon B. Johnson and is still owned by the federal government as part of the Statue of Liberty National Monument. Ellis Island was opened to the public as a Museum of Immigration in 1990. On September 11, 2001, Two of four hijacked planes were flown into the twin towers of the original World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan, and the towers collapsed. 7. World Trade Center also collapsed due to damage from fires. The other buildings of the World Trade Center complex were damaged beyond repair and demolished soon thereafter. The collapse of the Twin Towers caused extensive damage and resulted in the deaths of 2,753 victims, including 147 aboard the two planes. Since September 11, 
most of Lower Manhattan has been restored. In the years since, many rescue workers and residents of the area have developed several life-threatening illnesses, and some have died. African Burial Ground National Monument in Lower Manhattan is the only national monument dedicated to Americans of African ancestry. It preserves a site containing the remains of more than 400 Africans buried during the late 17th and 18th centuries in a portion of what was the largest colonial-era cemetery for people of African descent, both free and enslaved, with an estimated tens of thousands of remains interred. The site's excavation and study were called the most important historic urban archaeological project in the United States, FIRE. Island National Seashore is a United States national seashore that protects a 26-mile section of Fire Island, an approximately 30-mile long barrier island separated from the mainland of Long Island by the Great South Bay. The island is part of Suffolk County, Gateway National Recreation Area is more than 26,000 acres of water, salt marsh, wetlands, islands, and shoreline at the entrance to New York Harbor, the majority of which lies within New York. Including areas on Long Island and in New Jersey, it covers more area than that of two Manhattan Islands. General Grant National Memorial is the final resting place of President Ulysses S. Grant and is the largest mausoleum in North America. Hamilton Grange National Memorial preserves the home of Alexander Hamilton, Caribbean immigrant and orphan who rose to be a United States founding father and associate of George Washington, home of Franklin D. Roosevelt National Historic Site, established. In 1945, preserves the Springwood Estate in Hyde Park, New York. Springwood was the birthplace, lifelong home, and burial place of the 32nd President of the United States, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Niagara Falls National Heritage Area was designated by Congress in 2008. It stretches from the western boundary of Wheatfield. New York to the mouth of the Niagara River on Lake Ontario, including the communities of Niagara Falls, Youngstown, and Lewiston. It includes Niagara Falls State Park and Colonial Niagara Historic District. It is managed in collaboration with the state. Saratoga National Historical Park preserves the site of the Battles of Saratoga the first significant American military victory of the American Revolutionary War. In 1777, American forces defeated a major British army, which led France to recognize the independence of the United States, and enter the war as a decisive military ally of the struggling Americans. Statue of Liberty National Monument includes Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty. The statue, designed by Frederick Bartholdi, was a gift from France to the United States to mark the centennial of the American Declaration of Independence. It was dedicated in New York Harbor on October 28, 1886. It has since become an icon of the United States and the concepts of democracy and freedom. Stonewall National Monument, in the Greenwich Village neighborhood of Lower Manhattan, is the first U.S. national monument dedicated to LGBTQ rights, designated on June 24, 2016. The monument comprises the Stonewall Inn, commonly recognized to be the cradle of the gay liberation movement as the site of the 1969 Stonewall Riots, the adjacent Christopher Park, and surrounding streets and sidewalks. Theodore Roosevelt Birthplace National Historic Site is the birthplace and childhood home of President Theodore Roosevelt, the only U.S. president born in New York City before Donald Trump. Silicon Alley Tech Valley Media and Entertainment Tourism Ex-Sports Education
transportation, government and politics, government, capital punishment, federal representation, politics, sports, white, 65.7%, black or African American, 15.9%, American Indian and Alaska Native, 0.6%, Asian, 7.3%, Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, approximate 0.0%, other race, 7.4%, two or more races, 3.0%. A memorial at the site, the National September 11th Memorial and Museum was opened to the public on September 11, 2011. A permanent museum later opened at the site on March 21, 2014. Upon its completion in 2014, the new One World Trade Center became the tallest skyscraper in the Western Hemisphere, at 1,776 feet. Other skyscrapers are under construction at the site. On October 29 and 30, 2012, Hurricane Sandy caused extensive destruction of the state's shorelines, ravaging portions of New York City and Long Island with record high storm surge, with severe flooding and high winds causing power outages for hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers and leading to gasoline shortages and disruption of mass transit systems. The storm and its profound effects have prompted the discussion of constructing seawalls and other coastal barriers around the shorelines of New York City and Long Island to minimize the risk from another such future event. This is considered highly probable due to global warming and rise in sea levels. New York covers 54,555 square miles and ranks as the 27th largest state by size. The highest elevation in New York is Mount Marcy in the Adirondacks, at 5,344 feet above sea level, while the state's lowest point is at sea level, on the Atlantic Ocean. In contrast with New York City's urban landscape, the vast majority of the state's geographic area is dominated by meadows, forests, rivers, farms, mountains, and lakes. Most of the southern part of the state rests on the Allegheny Plateau, which extends from the southeastern United States to the Catskill Mountains. The section in New York State is known as the Southern Tier. The rugged Adirondack Mountains, with vast tracts of wilderness, lie west of the Lake Champlain Valley. The Great Appalachian Valley dominates eastern New York and contains the Lake Champlain Valley as its northern half and the Hudson Valley as its southern half within the state. The Tug Hill region arises as a cuesta east of Lake Ontario. Upstate and downstate are often used informally to distinguish New York City or its greater metropolitan area from the rest of New York State. The placement of a boundary between the two is a matter of great contention. Unofficial and loosely defined regions of upstate New York include the Southern Tier, which often includes the counties along the border with Pennsylvania, and the North Country, which can mean anything from the strip along the Canada-US border to everything north of the Mohawk River. New York contains a part of the Marcellus Shale which extends into Ohio and Pennsylvania. Of New York State's total area, 13.6% consists of water. Much of New York's boundaries are in water, as is true for New York City, four of its five boroughs are situated on three islands at the mouth of the Hudson River, Manhattan Island, Staten Island, and Long Island which contains Brooklyn and Queens at its western end. The state's borders include a water boundary in two Great Lakes, the provinces of Ontario and Quebec in Canada, 
with New York and Ontario sharing the Thousand Islands archipelago within the St. Lawrence River, while most of its border with Quebec is on land, it shares Lake Champlain with the New England state of Vermont, the New England state of Massachusetts has mostly a land border, while Connecticut has land and sea borders, New York extends into Long Island Sound and the Atlantic Ocean. Sharing a water border with Rhode Island Except for areas near the New York Harbor, New York has a mostly land border with two mid-Atlantic states, New Jersey and Pennsylvania. New York is the only state that includes within its borders parts of the Great Lakes and the Atlantic Ocean. The Hudson River begins near Lake Tier of the Clouds and flows south through the eastern part of the state, without draining Lakes George or Champlain. Lake George empties at its north end into Lake Champlain, whose northern end extends into Canada, where it drains into the Richelieu River and then ultimately the St. Lawrence River. The western section of the state is drained by the Allegheny River and rivers of the Susquehanna and Delaware River systems. Niagara Falls is shared between New York and Ontario as it flows on the Niagara River from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. The Delaware River Basin Compact, signed in 1961 by New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware and the federal government, regulates the utilization of water of the Delaware system. In general, New York has a humid continental climate, though under the Köppen climate classification, New York City has a humid subtropical climate. Weather in New York is heavily influenced by two continental air masses, a warm, humid one from the southwest and a cold, dry one from the northwest. Downstate New York, comprising New York City, Long Island, and lower portions of the Hudson Valley, has rather warm summers with some periods of high humidity and cold, damp winters which are relatively mild compared to temperatures in upstate New York due to downstate regions' lower elevation, proximity to the Atlantic Ocean, and relatively lower latitude. Upstate New York experiences warm summers, marred by only occasional, brief intervals of sultry conditions, with long and cold winters. Western New York, particularly the Tug Hill region, receives heavy lake effect snows, especially during the earlier portions of winter, before the surface of Lake Ontario itself is covered by ice. The summer climate is cool in the Adirondacks, Catskills, and at higher elevations of the southern tier. Summer daytime temperatures usually range from the upper 70s to mid 80s degree F, over much of the state. In the majority of winter seasons, a temperature of 13 degree F or lower can be expected in the northern highlands and 5 degrees Fahrenheit or colder in the southwestern and east-central highlands of the southern tier. New York ranks 46th among the 50 states in the amount of greenhouse gases generated per person. This relative efficient energy usage is primarily due to the dense, compact settlement in the New York City metropolitan area, and the state population's high rate of mass transit use in this area and between major cities. Due to its long history, New York has several overlapping and often conflicting definitions of regions within the state. The regions are also not fully definable due to colloquial use of regional labels. The New York State Department of Economic Development provides two distinct definitions of these regions, it divides the state into ten economic regions, which approximately correspond to terminology used by residents. The department also groups the counties into eleven regions for tourism purposes. New York has many state parks and two major forest preserves. Niagara Falls State Park, established in 1885, is the oldest state park in the United States and the first to be created via eminent domain. 
In 1892, Adirondack Park, roughly the size of the state of Vermont and the largest state park in the United States, was established and given state constitutional protection to remain forever wild in 1894. The park is larger than Yellowstone, Everglades, Glacier, and Grand Canyon National Parks combined. It is larger than the Yellowstone, Yosemite, Grand Canyon, Glacier, and Olympic National Parks combined. The Catskill Park was protected in legislation passed in 1885, which declared that its land was to be conserved and never put up for sale or lease. Consisting of 700,000 acres of land, the park is a habitat for deer, minks, and fishers. There are some 400 black bears living in the region. The state operates numerous campgrounds, and there are over 300 miles of multi-use trails in the park. The 1,797 Montauk Lighthouse, commissioned under President George Washington, is a major tourist attraction in Montauk State Park at the easternmost tip of Long Island. Hither Hills State Park, also on the South Fork of Long Island, offers camping and is a popular destination with surf casting sport fishermen. The state of New York is well represented in the national park system with 22 national parks which received 16,349,381 visitors in 2011. In addition, there are four national heritage areas, 27 national natural landmarks, 262 national historic landmarks, and 5,379 listings on the National Register of Historic Places. New York is divided into 62 counties. Aside from the five counties of New York City, each of these counties is subdivided into towns and cities, incorporated under state law. Towns can contain incorporated villages or unincorporated hamlets. New York City is divided into five boroughs, each coterminous with a county. Downstate New York can be considered to form the central core of the Northeast Megalopolis, an urbanized region stretching from New Hampshire to Virginia. The major cities of the state developed along the key transportation and trade routes of the early 19th century, including the Erie Canal and railroads paralleling it. Today, the New York Thruway acts as a modern counterpart to commercial water routes. The distribution of change in population growth is uneven in New York State, the New York City metropolitan area is growing considerably, along with Saratoga County. New York City gained more residents between April 2010 and July 2014 than any other U.S. city. Conversely, outside of the Ithaca area, population growth in much of western New York is nearly stagnant. According to immigration statistics, the state is a leading recipient of migrants from around the globe. Between 2000 and 2005, immigration failed to surpass emigration, a trend that has been reversing since 2006. New York State lost two House seats in the 2011 congressional reapportionment, secondary to relatively slow growth when compared to the rest of the United States. In 2000 and 2005, more people moved from New York to Florida than from any one state to another, contributing to New York becoming the U.S.'s fourth most populous state in 2015 behind Florida, Texas, and California. However, New York State has the second-largest international immigrant population in the country among the American states, at 4.2 million as of 2008, most reside in and around New York City, due to its size, high-profile, vibrant economy, and cosmopolitan culture.
The United States Census Bureau estimates that the population of New York was 19,795,791 on July 1, 2015 a 2.16% increase since the 2010 United States Census. Despite the open land in the state, New York's population is very urban, with 92% of residents living in an urban area, predominantly in the New York City metropolitan area. Two-thirds of New York State's population resides in New York City metropolitan area. New York City is the most populous city in the United States, with an estimated record high population of 8,550,405 in 2015, incorporating more immigration into the city than emigration since the 2010 United States Census. More than twice as many people live in New York City as in the second most populous U.S. city and within a smaller area. Long Island alone accounted for a census estimated 7,838,722 residents in 2015, representing 39.6% of New York State's population. 6.5% of New York's population were under 5 years of age, 24.7% under 18 and 12.9% were 65 or older. Females made up 51.8% of the state's population. These are the 10 counties with the largest populations as of 2010. There are 62 cities in New York. The largest city in the state and the most populous city in the United States is New York City, which comprises five counties. Bronx, New York County, Queens, Kings County, and Richmond County. New York City is home to more than two-fifths of the state's population. Albany, the state capital, is the sixth largest city in New York State. The smallest city is Sherrill, New York, in Oneida County. Hempstead is the most populous town in the state. If it were a city, it would be the second largest in New York State, with over 700,000 residents. The following are the top 10 metropolitan areas in the state as of the 2010 census. The racial makeup of New York State as of the 2010 census was Hispanic or Latino of any race were 17.6% of the population in 2010, 2.4% were of Mexican, 5.5% Puerto Rican, 0.4% Cuban, and 9.4% other Hispanic or Latino origin. According to the 2010-2015 American Community Survey, the largest ancestry groups were Italian, Irish, German, American, and English. The state's most populous racial group, non-Hispanic white, has declined as a proportion of the state population from 94.6% in 1940 to 58.3% in 2010. As of 2011, 55.6% of New York's population younger than age 1 were minorities. New York's robustly increasing Jewish population, the largest outside of Israel, was the highest among states both by percentage and absolute number in 2012. It is driven by the high reproductive rate of Orthodox Jewish families, particularly in Brooklyn and communities of the Hudson Valley. New York is home to the second-largest African-American population and the second-largest Asian-American population in the United States. New York's uniracial black population increased by 2.0% between 2000 and 2010, to 3,073,800. The black population is in a state of flux as New York is the largest recipient of immigrants from Africa, 
while established African Americans are migrating out of New York to the southern United States. The New York City neighborhood of Harlem has historically been a major cultural capital for African Americans of sub-Saharan descent, and Bedford-Stuyvesant in Brooklyn has the largest such population in the United States. Meanwhile, New York's uniracial Asian population increased by a notable 36% from 2000 to 2010, to 1,420,244. In 2004. Queens, in New York City, is home to the state's largest Asian American population and is the most ethnically diverse county in the United States, it is the most ethnically diverse urban area in the world. New York's growing uniracial Hispanic or Latino population numbered 3,416,922 in 2010, a 19% increase from the 2,867,583 enumerated in 2000. Queens is home to the largest Andean populations in the United States. In addition, New York has the largest Puerto Rican, Dominican, and Jamaican American populations in the continental United States. The Chinese population constitutes the fastest growing nationality in New York State, multiple satellites of the original Manhattan Chinatown in Brooklyn and around Flushing, Queens, are thriving as traditionally urban enclaves while also expanding rapidly eastward into suburban Nassau County, on Long Island. New York State has become the top destination for new Chinese immigrants, and large-scale Chinese immigration continues into the state. A new China City of America is also planned in Sullivan County. Long Island, including Queens and Nassau County, is also home to several little Indias in a large Koreatown, with large and growing attendant populations of Indian Americans and Korean Americans, respectively. Brooklyn has been a destination for West Indian immigrants of African descent, as well as Asian Indian immigrants. In the 2000 census, New York had the largest Italian American population, composing the largest self-identified ancestral group in Staten Island and Long Island, followed by Irish Americans. Albany and the Mohawk Valley also have large communities of ethnic Italians and Irish Americans, reflecting 19th and early 20th century immigration. In Buffalo and western New York, German Americans comprise the largest ancestry. In the North Country of New York, French Canadians represent the leading ethnicity, given the area's proximity to Quebec. Americans of English ancestry are present throughout all of upstate New York, reflecting early colonial and later immigrants. In 2010, the most common American English dialects spoken in New York, besides general American English, were the New York City area dialect, the Western New England accent around Albany, and inland Northern American English in Buffalo and Western New York State. As many as 800 languages are spoken in New York City, making it the most linguistically diverse city in the world. As of 2010, 70.72% of New York residents aged 5 and older reported speaking only English at home, while 14.44% spoke Spanish, 2.61% Chinese, 1.20% Russian, 1.18% Italian, 0.79% French Creole, 0.75% French, 0.67% Yiddish, 0.63% Korean, and Polish was spoken by 0.53% of the population over the age of 5. In total, 29.28% of New York's population aged 5 and older reported speaking a language other than English.
In 2010, the Association of Religion Data Archives reported that the largest denominations were the Catholic Church with 6,286,916, Orthodox Judaism with 588,500, Islam with 392,953, and the United Methodist Church with 328,315 adherents. Roughly 3.8% of the state's adult population self-identifies as lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. This constitutes a total LGBT adult population of 570,388 individuals. In 2010, the number of same-sex couple households stood at roughly 48,932. New York was the fifth state to license same-sex marriages, after New Hampshire. Michael Bloomberg, the mayor of New York City, stated that same-sex marriages in New York City have generated an estimated $259 million in economic impact and $16 million in city revenues in the first year after the enactment of the Marriage Equality Act. Same-sex marriages in New York were legalized on June 24, 2011, and were authorized to take place beginning 30 days thereafter. New York City is also home to the largest transgender population in the United States, estimated at 25,000 in 2016. The annual New York City Pride March traverses southward down Fifth Avenue in Manhattan ending at Greenwich Village, and rivals the Sao Paulo Gay Pride Parade as the largest pride parade in the world, attracting tens of thousands of participants and millions of sidewalk spectators each June. In June 2017, plans were announced for the first official monument to LGBT individuals commissioned by the state of New York, in contrast to the Stonewall National Monument, which was commissioned by the U.S. federal government. The state monument is planned to be built in Hudson River Park in Manhattan, near the waterfront Hudson River Piers which have served as historically significant symbols of New York's role as a meeting place and a safe haven for LGBT communities. New York's gross state product in 2015 was $1.5 trillion. If New York State were an independent nation, it would rank as the 12th or 13th largest economy in the world, depending upon international currency fluctuations. However, in 2013, the multi-state, New York City-centered metropolitan statistical area produced a gross metropolitan product of nearly 1.4 trillion US dollars, while in 2012 the corresponding combined statistical area generated a GMP of over 1.55 trillion US dollars, both ranking first nationally by a wide margin and behind the GDP of only 12 nations and 11 nations, respectively. Anchored by Wall Street in the financial district of Lower Manhattan, New York City has been called both the most economically powerful city and the leading financial center of the world. Lower Manhattan is the third largest central business district in the United States and is home to the New York Stock Exchange, on Wall Street, and the Nasdaq, at 165 Broadway, representing the world's largest and second largest stock exchanges, respectively as measured both by overall average daily trading volume and by total market capitalization of their listed companies in 2013. Investment banking fees on Wall Street totaled approximately $40 billion in 2012, while in 2013, senior New York City bank officers who manage risk and compliance functions earned as much as $324,000 annually. In fiscal year 2013-14, Wall Street's securities industry generated 19% of New York State's tax revenue. 
New York City remains the largest global center for trading in public equity and debt capital markets, driven in part by the size and financial development of the U.S. economy. 3132 New York also leads in hedge fund management, private equity, and the monetary volume of mergers and acquisitions. Several investment banks and investment managers headquartered in Manhattan are important participants in other global financial centers. 3435 New York is also the principal commercial banking center of the United States. Many of the world's largest media conglomerates are also based in the city. Manhattan contained approximately 520 million square feet of office space Indiana 2013, making it the largest office market in the United States, while Midtown Manhattan is the largest central business district in the nation. Silicon Alley, centered in New York City, has evolved into a metonym for the sphere encompassing the New York City metropolitan region's high technology and entrepreneurship ecosystem. In 2015, Silicon Alley generated over 7.3 billion US dollar in venture capital investment. High-tech industries including digital media, biotechnology, software development, game design, and other fields in information technology are growing, bolstered by New York City's position at the terminus of several transatlantic fiber-optic trunk lines, its intellectual capital, as well as its growing outdoor wireless connectivity. In December 2014, New York State announced a $50 million venture capital fund to encourage enterprises working in biotechnology and advanced materials, according to Governor Andrew Cuomo, the seed money would facilitate entrepreneurs in bringing their research into the marketplace. On December 19, 2011, then-Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg announced his choice of Cornell University and Technion Israel Institute of Technology to build a two billion U.S. dollar graduate school of applied sciences on Roosevelt Island in Manhattan, with the goal of transforming New York City into the world's premier technology capital. Albany, Saratoga County, Rensselaer County, and the Hudson Valley collectively recognized as Eastern New York's Tech Valley, have experienced significant growth in the computer hardware side of the high technology industry, with great strides in the nanotechnology sector, digital electronics design, and water and electricity dependent integrated microchip circuit manufacturing, involving companies including IBM and its Thomas J. Watson Research Center, Global Foundries, Samsung, and Taiwan. Semiconductor, among others. The area's high-technology ecosystem is supported by technologically focused academic institutions including Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and the SUNY Polytechnic Institute. In 2015, Tech Valley, straddling both sides of the Adirondack Northway and the New York Thruway, generated over 163 million US dollar in venture capital investment. The Rochester area is important in the field of photographic processing and imaging as well as incubating an increasingly diverse high technology sphere encompassing STEM fields. Similarly in part the result of private startup enterprises collaborating with major academic institutions, including the University of Rochester and Cornell University. Westchester County has developed a burgeoning biotechnology sector in the 21st century, with over US$1 billion US dollar in planned private investment as of 2016. Creative Industries which are concerned with generating and distributing knowledge and information, such as new media, digital media, film and television production, advertising, fashion, design, and architecture, account for a growing share of employment, with New York City possessing a strong competitive advantage in these industries. As of 2014, 
New York State was offering tax incentives of up to $420 million annually for filmmaking within the state, the most generous such tax rebate among the U.S. states. New York has also attracted higher wage visual effects employment by further augmenting its tax credit to a maximum of 35% for performing post-film production work in upstate New York. The filmed entertainment industry has been growing in New York, contributing nearly $9 billion US dollars to the New York City economy alone as of 2015. I Love New York is a slogan, a logo, and a song that are the basis of an advertising campaign and has been used since 1977 to promote tourism in the state of New York, including New York City. The trademarked logo is owned by New York State Empire State Development. The Broadway League reported that Broadway shows sold approximately US$1.27 billion US dollar worth of tickets in the 2013-2014 season, an 11.4% increase from US$1.139 billion US dollar in the 2012-2013 season. Attendance in 2013-2014 stood at 12.21 million, representing a 5.5% increase from the 2012-2013 season's 11.57 million. The I Love New York song is the state song of New York. New York exports a wide variety of goods such as prepared foods, computers, and electronics, cut diamonds, and other commodities. In 2007, the state exported a total of $71.1 billion worth of goods, with the five largest foreign export markets being Canada, the United Kingdom, Switzerland, Israel, and Hong Kong. New York's largest imports are oil, gold, aluminum, natural gas, electricity, rough diamonds, and lumber. The state also has a large manufacturing sector that includes printing and the production of garments, mainly in New York City, and furs, railroad equipment, automobile parts, and bus line vehicles, concentrated in upstate regions. New York is the nation's third largest grape producing state, and second largest wine producer by volume, behind California. The Southern Finger Lakes hillsides, the Hudson Valley, the North Fork of Long Island, and the southern shore of Lake Erie are the primary grape and wine growing regions in New York, with many vineyards. In 2012, New York had 320 wineries and 37,000 grape bearing acres, generating full-time employment of nearly 25,000 and annual wages of over 1.1 billion US dollars and yielding 4.8 billion US dollar in direct economic impact from New York grapes, grape juice and wine and grape products. New York is a major agricultural producer overall, ranking among the top 5 states for agricultural products including maple syrup apples, cherries, cabbage, dairy products, onions, and potatoes. The state is the largest producer of cabbage in the U.S. The state has about a quarter of its land in farms and produced $3.4 billion in agricultural products in 2001. The south shore of Lake Ontario provides the right mix of soils and microclimate for many apple, cherry, plum, pear, and peach orchards. Apples are also grown in the Hudson Valley and near Lake Champlain. A moderately sized saltwater commercial fishery is located along the Atlantic side of Long Island. The principal catches by value are clams, lobsters, squid, and flounder. The University of the State of New York accredits and sets standards for primary, middle level, and secondary education in the state, while the New York State Education Department oversees public schools and controls their standardized tests.
The New York City Department of Education manages the New York City public schools system. In 1894, reflecting general racial discrimination then, the state passed a law that allowed communities to set up separate schools for children of African American descent. In 1900, the state passed another law requiring integrated schools. At the level of post-secondary education, the statewide public university system is the State University of New York, commonly referred to as SUNY. New York City also has its own City University of New York system, which is funded by the city. The SUNY system consists of 64 community colleges, technical colleges, undergraduate colleges, and doctoral granting institutions, including several universities. New York's largest public university is the State University of New York at Buffalo, which was founded by U.S. President and Vice President Millard Fillmore. The four SUNY university centers, offering a wide array of academic programs, are the University at Albany, Binghamton University, Stony Brook University, and the University at Buffalo. Notable large private universities include the Columbia University in Upper Manhattan and Cornell University in Ithaca, both Ivy League institutions, as well as New York University in Lower Manhattan, and Fordham University in the Bronx, Manhattan, and Westchester County. Smaller notable private institutions of higher education include Rockefeller University, Mercy College, New York Institute of Technology, Yeshiva University, and Hofstra University. There are also a multitude of postgraduate level schools in New York State, including medical, law, and engineering schools. West Point, the service academy of the U.S. Army, is located just south of Newburgh, on the west bank of the Hudson River. During the fiscal 2013 year, New York spent more on public education per pupil than any other state, according to U.S. Census Bureau statistics. New York has one of the most extensive and one of the oldest transportation infrastructures in the country. Engineering challenges posed by the complex terrain of the state and the unique infrastructural issues of New York City brought on by urban crowding have had to be overcome perennially. Population expansion of the state has followed the path of the early waterways, first the Hudson River and Mohawk River, then the Erie Canal. In the 19th century, railroads were constructed along the river valleys, followed by the New York State Thruway in the 20th century. The New York State Department of Transportation is the department of the Government of New York responsible for the development and operation of highways, railroads, mass transit systems, ports, waterways, and aviation facilities within New York State. The NISDOT is headquartered at 50 Wolf Road in Colony. Albany County. The Port Authority of New York and New Jersey is a joint venture between the states of New York and New Jersey and authorized by the U.S. Congress, established in 1921 through an interstate compact that oversees much of the regional transportation infrastructure, including bridges, tunnels, airports, and seaports within the geographical jurisdiction of the Port of New York and New Jersey. This 1,500-square-mile port district is generally encompassed within a 25-mile radius of the Statue of Liberty National Monument. The Port Authority is headquartered at 4 World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan. In addition to the well-known New York City subway system which is confined within New York City four suburban commuter railroad systems enter and leave the city, the Long Island Railroad, Metro North Railroad, Port Authority Trans-Hudson, and five of New Jersey Transit's rail lines.
The New York City Department of Transportation is the agency of the Government of New York City responsible for the management of much of New York City's own transportation infrastructure. Other cities and towns in New York have urban and regional public transportation. In Buffalo, the Niagara Frontier Transportation Authority runs the Buffalo Metro Rail Light Rail System, in Rochester. The Rochester subway operated from 1927 until 1956, but fell into disuse as state and federal investment went to highways. The New York State Department of Motor Vehicles is the governmental agency responsible for registering and inspecting automobiles and other motor vehicles, as well as licensing drivers in the state of New York. As of 2008, the NYS DMV has 11,284,546 driver's licenses on file and 10,697,644 vehicle registrations in force. All gasoline-powered vehicles registered in New York State are required to have an emissions inspection every 12 months in order to ensure that environmental quality controls are working to prevent air pollution. Diesel-powered vehicles with a gross weight rating over 8,500 pounds that are registered in most downstate New York counties must get an annual emissions inspection. All vehicles registered in New York State must get an annual safety inspection. Portions of the transportation system are intermodal allowing travelers to switch easily from one mode of transportation to another. One of the most notable examples is Airtran JFK which allows rail passengers to travel directly to terminals at John F. Kennedy International Airport as well as to the underground New York City subway system. The Government of New York embodies the governmental structure of the State of New York as established by the New York State Constitution. It is composed of three branches, executive, legislative, and judicial. The governor is the state's chief executive and is assisted by the lieutenant governor. Both are elected on the same ticket. Additional elected officers include the attorney general, and the controller. The secretary of state, formerly an elected officer, is currently appointed by the governor. The New York State Legislature is bicameral and consists of the New York State Senate and the New York State Assembly. The Assembly consists of 150 members, while the Senate varies in its number of members, currently having 63. The Legislature is empowered to make laws, subject to the Governor's power to veto a bill. However, the veto may be overridden by the legislature if there is a two-thirds majority in favor of overriding in each house. The permanent laws of a general nature are codified in the Consolidated Laws of New York. The highest court of appeal in the unified court system is the Court of Appeals whereas the primary felony trial court is the county court. The Supreme Court also acts as the intermediate appellate court for many cases and the local courts handle a variety of other matters including small claims, traffic ticket cases, and local zoning matters, and are the starting point for all criminal cases. The New York City courts make up the largest local court system. The state is divided into counties, cities, towns, and villages, all of which are municipal corporations with respect to their own governments, as well as various corporate entities that serve single purposes that are also local governments, such as school districts, fire districts, and New York State Public Benefit Corporations, frequently known as authorities or development corporations. Each municipal corporation is granted varying home rule powers as provided by the New York Constitution. The state also has 10 Indian reservations. Capital punishment was reintroduced in 1995 under the Pataki administration, 
but the statute was declared unconstitutional in 2004, when the New York Court of Appeals ruled in People v. Lavallee that it violated the state constitution. The remaining death sentence was commuted by the court to life imprisonment in 2007, in People v. John Taylor, and the death row was disestablished in 2008, under executive order from Governor Patterson. No execution has taken place in New York since 1963. Legislative efforts to amend the statute have failed, and death sentences are no longer sought at the state level, though certain crimes that fall under the jurisdiction of the federal government are subject to the federal death penalty. The state of New York sends 27 members to the House of Representatives in addition to its two United States Senators. As of the 2000 census and the redistricting for the 2002 elections, the state had 29 members in the House, but the representation was reduced to 27 in 2013 due to the state's slower overall population growth relative to the overall national population growth. From 2016, New York will have 29 electoral votes in national presidential elections. New York is represented by Chuck Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand in the United States Senate and has the nation's third equal highest number of congressional districts, equal with Florida and behind California's 53 and Texas's 36. The state has a strong imbalance of payments with the federal government. According to the Office of the New York State Controller, New York State received 91 cents in services for every $1 it sent in taxes to the U.S. federal government in the 2013 fiscal year. New York ranked in 46th place in the federal balance of payments to the state on a per capita basis. As of April 2016, Democrats represented a plurality of voters in New York State, constituting over twice as many registered voters as any other political party affiliation or lack thereof. Since the second half of the 20th century, New York has generally supported candidates belonging to the Democratic Party in national elections. Democratic presidential candidate Barack Obama won New York State by over 25 percentage points in both 2012 and 2008. New York City, as well as the state's other major urban locales, including Albany, Buffalo, Rochester, Yonkers, and Syracuse, are significant Democratic strongholds, with liberal politics. Rural portions of upstate New York, however, are generally more conservative than the cities and tend to favor Republicans. Heavily populated suburban areas downstate, such as Westchester County and Long Island, have swung between the major parties since the 1980s, but more often than not support Democrats. New York City is the most important source of political fundraising in the United States for both major parties. Four of the top five zip codes in the nation for political contributions are in Manhattan. The top zip code, 10,021 on the Upper East Side, generated the most money for the 2000 presidential campaigns of both George W. Bush and Al Gore. The state of New York has the distinction of being the home state for both major party nominees in three presidential elections. The 1904 presidential election saw former New York Governor and incumbent President Theodore Roosevelt face Alton B. Parker, Chief Judge of the New York Court of Appeals. The 1944 presidential election had Franklin D. Roosevelt, following in his cousin Theodore's footsteps as former New York governor and incumbent president running for re-election against then-current New York Governor Thomas E. Dewey. In the 2016 presidential election, former United States Senator from New York Hillary Clinton, a resident of Chappaqua, was the Democratic Party nominee. 
The Republican Party nominee was businessman Donald Trump, a resident of Manhattan and a native of Queens. New York City is an important center for international diplomacy. The United Nations headquarters has been situated on the east side of Midtown Manhattan since 1952. New York State is geographically home to one National Football League team, the Buffalo Bills, based in the Buffalo suburb of Orchard Park. Although the New York Giants and New York Jets represent the New York metropolitan area and were previously located in New York City, they play in MetLife Stadium, located in East Rutherford, New Jersey. New York also has two major league baseball teams, the New York Yankees and the New York Mets. Minor league baseball teams also play in the state of New York, including the Long Island Ducks, the Brooklyn Cyclones, and the Staten Island Yankees downstate, and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies, the Syracuse Chiefs, and the Buffalo Bisons upstate. New York is home to three National Hockey League franchises, the New York Rangers in Manhattan, the New York Islanders in Brooklyn, and the Buffalo Sabres in Buffalo. New York has two National Basketball Association teams, the New York Knicks in Manhattan, and the Brooklyn Nets in Brooklyn. New York is the home of a major league soccer franchise, New York City FC, currently playing in the Bronx. Although the New York Red Bulls represent the New York metropolitan area, they play in Red Bull Arena in Harrison, New Jersey. New York hosted the 1932 and 1980 Winter Olympics at Lake Placid. The 1980 games are known for the USA-USSR ice hockey match dubbed the Miracle on Ice, in which a group of American college students and amateurs defeated the heavily favored Soviet national ice hockey team 4-3 and went on to win the gold medal against Finland. Along with St. Moritz, Switzerland, and Innsbruck, Austria, Lake Placid is one of the three cities to have hosted the Winter Olympic Games twice. New York City bid for the 2012 Summer Olympics but lost to London. Several U.S. National Sports Halls of Fame are or have been situated in New York. The National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum is located in Cooperstown, Otsego County. The National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame in Saratoga Springs, Saratoga County, honors achievements in the sport of thoroughbred horse racing. The physical facility of the National Soccer Hall of Fame in Oneonta, also in Otsego County, closed in 2010, although the organization itself has continued inductions. The annual United States Open Tennis Championships is one of the world's four Grand Slam tennis tournaments and is held at the National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadows Corona Park in the New York City Borough of Queens. Coordinates, 43 degrees north 75 degrees west slash 43 degrees north 75 degrees west slash 43, 75.